every year in the carols of this season. We sing of a silent night, yet our hearts are often anything but silent as we contemplate Christmas. Sometimes the noise of preparation becomes an uproar inside us. Sometimes we struggle to focus on the melodies of love and peace that hold the real music of this season. So this night should not be silent. It should ring with thanksgiving and worship as we remember when God appeared in our darkness with his glorious light. A silent night, a holy night. The silence of God was broken by the message from the angel to Mary. Blessed are you among women. The road that lay before her would not be easy. But Mary's response was not to fear or shrink back from what God was asking her to do. Mary's first response was worship. This became the theme of every person to whom God revealed his plan. From the lowly to the wealthy, all would come to bow and to give God praise.
birth. The promised son was here, and mother and child were fine. Yet, for the moment, only Mary and Joseph were there to see the miracle that had taken place. How they must have longed to share the glorious news with someone else. had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. Time never dulls the beauty and holiness surrounding the night Jesus came. Every year we come to bow, to worship, and to give thanks for what heaven surrendered, what the Son endured, what the Father accomplished, so that we would be blessed.
Savior has been born. Because of his coming, Christmas means everything to us. So let this silent night be filled with singing. Let this holy night proclaim the story of what the world was given. 